Good morning and welcome to Rocket Travels. Why am I being so quiet? Because about half past six in the morning. Some of my neighbours, I just heard them coming home. <laughs> Hope they had a good night. Anyway, today I'm going da down to Takia Village and Beach and possibly monkey mowing. So, um, yeah, let's hit the road and uh, have an early morning trip. Uh, gonna see if we can get some vegetables on the way and a bit of breakfast and um, just have a little bit of a jolly. Okay, first stop of the day is vegetables. <laughs> what I love about Thailand is you can come down anywhere in the village, in the town, on the main road and there's people selling uh, food, breakfast, you know, street food style, uh, selling vegetables. Uh, it's great, so you can get up on your way to vlog for the day. <laughs> you can pick up your vegetables and pick up some breakfast roadside. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, breakfast. Probably there's a lady just up the road from here that uh, sells uh, pork belly, I think, in the morning. It's very popular. Uh, on my various trips uh, to downtown early morning, downtown Hua Hin, uh, I see her regularly and there's always people, busy, busy, busy lady. Uh, so we're just gonna go, I'm after cucumbers. We get through, you know those little, I'll show you in a minute, little mini cucumbers. We get through loads of them, man. I like snack on them, it's healthy, isn't it? Uh, big lad, try and keep the weight off, do struggle there. Might make a vlog about that eventually. Uh, but not all people are big, eat loads of food. So anyway, we're going for some healthy little mini cucumbers. Oh, here we go, look. Here's my cucumber. Now, they're not that mini, and they look a little bit out of shape. But, um, hello, sweaty cab. <laughs> I tell my, my viewers about your lovely uh, vegetable stall. I want some uh, cucumber. Repent. And get bag or something. Oh, they have pork here as well. Twenty cap. Chilies, potatoes. Oh, I have everything. Oh, cucumber. This one. Oh, can I have this one. Basket. Okay, so you take a basket. This one, cucumber. Yeah. My dog, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. <laughs> Ladies here are lovely, <laughs> very happy, smiley, lovely people. <laughs> oh man, I'm done nuts this morning. I, I just bought my cucumbers, there they are. Uh, just over a kilo of uh, mini cucumbers, 35 baht. Yeah, why am I laughing? I've got my shades on. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with these shades, everything looks dark. I just got on the wrong motorbike. <laughs> All the girls are laughing at me. They're really nice ladies here. So uh, yeah, if you're coming down Canal Road, check out this place, man. Super cool, super cool vegetables. Super cool, fun ladies. They're just laughing at me, man. And I just went, ting tong. And they went, oh, sweet tie. Super, super good, man. So anyway, cucumbers again, stored away in the bike. And we're heading next stop for breakfast. <laughs> Got the right bike now. Okay, I have stopped at the lady that uh, cooks pork in the morning. I've gone past this place many, many, many times. Uh, this is my first time I'm gonna try the food. It's basically uh, pork, I think. Uh, crispy pork, belly of pork. Um, yeah, it looks really, really good. Sweaty cab, Hello. it's okay I film? It's okay? Can I, can I, can I film? Okay, can I see your food? Hello. Oh, lady, this Thank lovely you. lady. Yes. I go past her every morning Thank and I look at the lovely you. food. <laughs> look at this, lovely. Doesn't that food look really, really good? I'm gonna get uh, some really nice dirt, like uh, pork belly. There's uh, cuts of pork deep fried. Uh, there's all sorts of bits, ways of cooking pork there. 
So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of bags of uh, crispy pork basically in various forms. So look, lady's absolutely lovely, isn't she? Like the ladies at the vegetable place, lady here. Absolutely beautiful people, man. That's why I love Thailand, man. You go up, everyone's got a smile, everyone's happy. Everyone's doing something, out and about, up to something. So uh, I'm gonna get my pork and head on down to the beach and have breakfast on the beach, I think. I've got a do in my orange do in my bag. That's a drink, an orange drink. Uh, get my pork and uh, let's hit the beach, have some breakfast, man. Okay, we're just coming into Takia village. Takia village is a uh, part of Hua Hin. It's not separated anyway. You literally come up from down from the town centre, heading south. And um, yeah, it's where Monkey Mountain is. It is a village vibe. Uh, big, big, well, big village part of Hua Hin, but there is a, a slower pace, uh, a nice, nice chilled ambience. Uh, there's a few hotels around there. A few guest houses. Uh, it's directly uh, on, goes on to the beach. Uh, beach is amazing. Let's go to the beach in a minute. Okay, I was super excited getting up this morning. Let's go down to the beach. Let's get the sunrise, well, not the sunrise. The sun's well up. But anyway, we've come down to the beach. And guess what? <laughs> the tide is in, man. I've been down here before. You can walk out there. So, whoa! <laughs> yeah. The sea is in, so sat on the beach having my breakfast with my orange juice isn't an option this morning. So apologies uh, for no beach view this morning, but um, we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to head up to uh, Monkey Mountain. We'll come and do the beach another day. Just had a little look up the top of this soy. Uh, there's an area there where there's lots of street food, lots of activity. So I'm going to show you where everyone is. It's, it's still early in the morning, there's lots of people about. Uh, so I'm going to and, uh, show you what the sort of central part of the village is, is like, where the food is. And then we head on up to uh, Monkey Mountain. See some monkeys. Big monkey. Yep. Ling Yai. Big monkey, that is in Thai. <laughs> I don't know a lot of Thai, it's just a little bit. Anyway, let's go and have some breakfast, man. Okay, it's time for breakfast. <laughs> Most people go to restaurants and stuff. <laughs> I'm sat on this little jetty. Uh, oh, nice little soy this is. I'm not sure, it's, it's not a numbered soy. Uh, but to get here, if you're coming down to Tiki Taki <laughs> uh it's uh, where 7-Eleven is in the centre of the village. So if you get, get to 7-Eleven, where all the street food is in the morning, um, then turn the left just before 7-Eleven and you come down to this lovely, lovely little spot. Really, really nice. Uh, like I said, the sea's in and it is banging up against the, uh, the wall. But um, hey ho, no beach, <laughs> but uh, we have breakfast. So uh, you saw earlier on, I went to the lovely lady, lovely, lovely lady, man. Uh, big, big bag of, this is uh, crispy chicken. I'm not sure, I think it's chicken skin, to be quite honest. I've had this before. It looks like chicken uh, uh, meat, but it's, I think it's actually deep fried skin. Uh, we'll try it in a minute. And I have a big bag of uh, crispy pork. Uh, Gonna do a taste test. We'll start off with the pork. <laughs> Sun is banging down, man. Try to find a decent bit. Big bit, that is. There you go, look. All chopped up. Crispy pork. Mmm. Mmm. 
That is beautiful. Mmm. That's like heaven on earth. Mmm. Very, very good. Sat here, eating my pork. And the sun's right up in the sky now. And the sea banging in there, man. Right. Let's go for Mr. Chicken. So I think this is uh, chicken, crispy chicken skin or something. There's no, there's no meat in there. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> that is super, super crispy, man. Wow. And it's nice. Um, I think it's chicken skin. <laughs> uh, there's no meat in there. But uh, yeah, super, super crispy and tasty. And uh, we're going to wash it all down with Mr. Didu. There you go. Super cool. Uh, a Didu from 7 Eleven is 12 baht. One of these bags, which is enough, I bought two because I wanted to uh, test them. I'll probably give the chicken one to the boss when I get back. Just eat the pork. But a big bag of uh, crispy pork is uh, 50 baht. So that's breakfast for 62 baht. Sat watching the sea, crashing on the rocks. Well, not the rocks, the concrete. <laughs> that's a romantic illusion. There's the sea crashing on the rocks down here. It's uh, crashing on the concrete. Anyway, yammering on a bit. So uh, I'm going to finish my breakfast off and then we're going to go and have a little look what's going on up the street food and head off to Monkey Mountain. Okay, I'm just going to show you uh, the soy which I've just come up from. It's actually uh, Takiab Soy 1. You see up on the sign there? Yeah, little lane leads down there. When the when when the 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 sea is out, the tide is out. It's really really nice down there. Uh, really nice views. But uh, at the top, uh, in the mornings, everyone's got their uh, street stall set up. Bananas, bunch of bananas, 20 baht. Dog on a bike. Uh, people selling uh, some nice veg. Morning, Sadi Cab. Good morning. Chicken barbecue. Chicken barbecue. Super cool, man. I've yeah, already had my good, breakfast. Good. Aloy, aloy. May I come again, oh, Mr. Fish? Aloy. Hello, Mr. Dog. <laughs> Sadi Cab. What you sell? Some fish. Oh, what this fish? Yeah. Next to that soy, I I told everyone originally it was next to a 7-Eleven. Oh, it is. So you got Cafe Amazon and 7-Eleven next to it and uh, people were up and about selling all their uh, food it's just all reasonably similar similar stuff it's classic pork on a, on a stick some fried chicken all sorts here yes I don't know if this is the center of Takia but this is basically my first trip down here so I'm winging it a little bit not done any research but uh, just trying to show you this is uh, I don't know maybe eight o'clock in the morning now and uh, people mainly ties around here there's the odd odd westerner uh, Bart bus coming down yeah nice little ambience around here lots and lots of chicken lots and lots of pork Mr. Brian hello sweaty cab oh look good Kai this one Kai Moo oh very good <laughs> oh, there you go it's busy busy down here i just went near that hot fat pan i think there's frying chicken in there you can feel the heat coming off it but uh yeah there's little restaurants little eateries um yeah it is buzzing around here okay this uh there's little stores here we're gonna have a little wander down here why not let's go and see what happens in the back streets uh, it's very, very Thai here. There are some traditional um, I think teak, I think the old wooden houses are made of. But uh, yeah, there's some old traditional buildings here. Um, yeah, it's got a lovely, lovely little Thai village vibe to it. Morning. <laughs> I say morning, some people, they say nothing. Yeah, it's all right around here, isn't it? Okay, so why not? Uh, come down to Takia village in the morning get yourself some street food and head on down to the beach just check out the tight times I mean man selling uh, sweet corn there look 
A lot of these soys, not that one. There, dogs on a bike. <laughs> you always get dogs on bikes in Thailand. If you've ever been to Thailand, it's always like loads of kids and the whole family on a moped or uh, a dog or I don't, I've seen uh, I actually googled it because uh, I saw a picture of uh, cows on bikes with people in India there's not just one there's like loads they'd like stick the cow on the on the bike and take them for a spin don't know where maybe taking them on holiday <laughs> so anyway so yeah come down to uh, check out village in the morning get yourself uh, some street food and head on down soy one and uh, when the tide's out, have a nice little breakfast siesta on the beach. Right, we're heading off up to uh, Monkey Mountain. Well, I'm not going to disappoint you guys. I said I'd come down the beach and I found some beach, man. There you go, we've got a horse as well. There you go, we've got some beach on the go, man. <laughs> Just the horse, some fishing boats. Yeah, look. Are you impressed? <laughs> so there we have the beach. Oh, actually, you can look right back into Hua Hin from here. See all the big uh, hotels. See the, see the sun chairs swamped in the sea. It must be a high tide. It must be. Uh, it's unusual for it to be right up this, uh, right up this much. But yeah, there is some beach, some fishing boats, and uh, there's a Buddha shrine or temple over this way. But obviously, there's no access to it because the sea's in. Unless you wade across, I suppose you could wade across. Should we wade across? <laughs> what do you reckon? Would you like to see me trying to wade across there in my tide? What do you reckon? How deep do you reckon that is? <laughs> Let's go and have a look. <laughs> what? Am I really doing this? <laughs> Actually, it's not that deep. <laughs> all, the other, all the other tourists on the beach are looking and going, what's he doing? <laughs> I'm coming over man. That's it, I made it like. I've made it. <laughs> Morning. Sweaty cap. There you go. We made it across. <laughs> Only the brave will do. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look what's going on up here. Ah, oh, cool man, look, someone someone lives in there. Wake up to that view every morning. Hello, Mr. Dog. Hello, soy dog. Yeah, very peaceful looking soy dogs. Wow. This is cool. <laughs> well, there's one thing for sure. There ain't gonna be many tourists around here, is there? <laughs> Because they probably think, looking at those steps and looking at that scene, thinking, we ain't going through there. But we is through, man. Wake up. Hello, soy dog. What's your name, soy dog? Uh, name? Mummy. Well, super cool. Good morning. <laughs> Didn't quite catch the name of the dog. But uh, yeah, everyone's chilled out over here, man. I've seen some grumpy wombles this morning, actually. I can talk about them. They're grumpy, they're grumpy. Well, there's a big Buddha statue here. There's Charlie Chicken. Morning, Charlie. Charlie Chicken is a story for another day. Look at this. Big, big Buddha. Look at that. Oh, lovely location. What lovely place for Buddha to look out on. I should come down here for breakfast. Sat there. Ah, the more and more time you spend living in a place uh, like Hua Hin, you start to discover places. You get little spots. Um, if you watch my last vlog, I was in, uh, I went to Sham Beach. Um, wasn't my thing. Uh, apologies if I come across negative about it. It's just not my thing, man. I like to explore. I like uh, tranquil situations. I like my early morning walks. Um, I will go back to Sham. Yeah, it's not a place I won't not go back to. But uh, for the moment, this is what I'm more into. There's some really, really nice steps up there. We can go up there. There's a little puppy dog. Hey, little puppy dog. What you doing? Okay, I have a friend. 
Oh, <laughs> little puppy dog. Look at you. Look at this little fella. Come on here. What are you looking for? Food? Do you have no food? <laughs> yeah, making friends. What's your name in? God knows. He's just licking my t-shirt. Anyway, we can't sit and pet you all day, even though you are Mr. Gorgeous. Hey, or you Mrs. Gorgeous. No, he's Mr. Gorgeous, I don't look. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go up those steps. Okay, just come to the top of uh, those steps I just showed you. Morning, Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey's got a little tattoo of a K on him. Maybe they've uh, branded them all. But uh, yeah, just come up here. <laughs> There's a big sign saying no shorts, and I've got shorts on. Uh, so there is a dress code. I don't know whether it's for this area here or there's some kind of temple up here where you need to dress appropriately. Uh, buy food for monkeys. Yeah. There you go. I suppose you can feed the monkeys in a controlled situation. Yeah. There's no one up here. That's because the sea's in and no one can get up here. It's all to myself. Morning. Yeah, very tranquil up here. Let's go have a little look. It's not uh, spectacular. Um, but it's at height. So uh, we're going to go as high as we can. And uh, see if we can get some views. And then eventually we will go monkey mountain. Finish off today's vlog. But at the moment we're just kind of just winging it, exploring. I think I explained, um, last vlog was it? Yeah, let's go out. Nothing majorly planned. Um, just winging it. Oh, I can see Monkey Mountain from here. I think that's Monkey Mountain. I think that in the foreground, if you can see, is Monkey Mountain. There's enough monkeys up here. But uh, yeah, this, I don't know if this is part of Monkey Mountain, it must be. But uh, <laughs> I love these monkeys, they just jump in the backs of. There's one on my bike earlier on, there's one in there in the back of the truck. Cheeky, cheeky. Good view, look at it. There's some actually some really really nice spots around here. This whole area I could spend a whole day exploring. Uh, it's right at the end of uh, southerly point of uh, uh, Hua Hin Beach, Takiab Village. Uh, there's a mountain, and yeah, there's loads and loads of uh, little areas uh, with little, little restaurants, little temples, lots of monkeys. <laughs> I have a feeling, oh, there's a lovely viewpoint from here. I've been to Monkey Mountain before, you don't get this, uh, you can't see over the other side. From here, you can see the other side of uh, Hua Hin. You're going to see ya. Morning, Mr. Monkey, you following me? Yeah, uh, I don't know where he's going. But uh, yeah, look at the view. Absolutely superb view. I think that's, uh, to be explored another day, maybe even tomorrow. Just my each day I might just head down the coast. Um, so nice just to live somewhere like this. And uh, you can just jump on your bike, jump on your car, jump on your push bike. Just head down the coast. There are lots and lots of these lovely little bays, lovely little beach areas. Um, it's all really, really nice, really good. It's a lovely, lovely lifestyle. Just get up in the morning, get up early. I don't do late nights. Get up early, head down the coast. Yeah, you get all these views. Sun's just coming up. Well, it's up quite up high now, but it's, it's not too hot. Uh, so yeah, early morning, nice and fresh. Lovely breeze up here. <laughs> Keep going on about the views. <laughs> Lovely views. Superb. But, uh, right, so there's not a lot particularly up here. But it's a nice place to come and chill. Um, yeah, you could come up here for your breakfast, come up here for a little afternoon siesta. Lots and lots of lovely uh, shady spots. And um, yeah, watch your food with the monkeys. But uh, yeah, come on up here. Anyway, that's my yammer. Let's head for the grand finale, Monkey Mountain. And welcome to Monkey Mountain. This ain't my first trip here. Uh, last time I come, I tried to vlog here, and it was a disaster. I lost all my footage. But as soon as you come up here, look, the old monkeys are in the trucks, man. Look at him, look. He's having a look. They're looking for food. Hey, cheeky boy. 
This lot, look, they've attacked this this man, look. Look. <laughs> look, look at him, he's, he's going home. <laughs> There's a lot of rant in there, man. <laughs> Those monkeys don't look happy, man. All the old tourists are going up to and they're going to attack them, man. I can see it coming. Oh, wow. These monkeys are giving it a big one, man. I ain't getting too close to that lot. <laughs> uh, they're on form this morning. Last time they come here, they weren't this lively, man. But they are having it big time, man. Oh, no, look. Oh, brave tourists, man. Yeah, I thought the monkeys might attack them there. But, uh, yeah, they are grunting and all sorts, man. Maybe they're hungry. Yeah, look. <laughs> There's a special monkey doing a special thing. <laughs> Am I really going to bang that out on YouTube? A couple of monkeys, haven't it, man? <laughs> if that pops up, I'm going to get... I, I keep my channel clean, man. There's two monkeys doing their funny business going to get me in trouble with YouTube. I'm squeaky clean on YouTube. Don't use bad language or nothing. But I might bang that on to see if I can get away with it. Anyway, so uh, yeah, Monkey monkey Mountain. You've got little Buddha temples. Don't forget when you come here, it's not just about the mon monkeys. It is a temple shrine area. So show your respects to Buddha. Uh, we'll make a donation when we leave. Uh, I'm not going to film inside the, the shrines. Uh, there's some monks over here. We're not going to film them either. But uh, yeah, it's, um, there's a little area right here you can buy your buy your flowers and your gifts and your offerings to Buddha. And then, basically, it's, it's this: is a car park area where monkeys going mad. And then uh, there's these steps up to the temple at the top. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I've already been up some steps. They're going to kill you, aren't they? Yeah, you know I mean. It's right if you're young and fit. I've seen young and fit, young fit people trying these steps and they're always stopping and starting, grunting and whatever, moaning. But anyway, let's go, let's get up the top. Oh, wow, I'm shattered, man. Just past halfway, yeah. <laughs> I'm all out of breath. Luckily, there's no slight city. <laughs> Lost my words, man. There's a seat. <sighs> Man, I need to get some proper exercise. Uh, doing loads of work each day, which I used to do back in the UK, is an exercise. So uh, I need to uh, improve my fitness, especially for my traveling. Oh man. <sighs> to be fair, uh, there's, there's a couple uh, just up ahead of me. They were stopping and starting as well, out of breath. So it's not just us old guys. But uh, yeah, have a little pit stop here, get my breath. There's no rushes there. Look at all day. It's only in the morning. God knows what time it is now. I uh, guess. I'm going to guess what the time is because I never look at the time. Sometimes I have to think what day it is. That's so nice, isn't it? You know, you're retired, living your dream. You don't care what day it is, what time it is. You know, it's all good. It's all rock and roll. <laughs> anyway, that's my yammer. This will be a long vlog. Uh, you want to see the view from the top. So let's get my breath and get up the top. <laughs> and there's the view. Superb view. Got to be the best view in who are in. Um, just for the ambience up here. There are some other viewpoints which I've vlogged on before, but uh, yeah, this is beautiful. You can actually see the bay. Uh, you can just see where I've just been in the foreground. Um, fishing village is down there. That's a vlog for another day. Uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely little shrine stroke temple. Uh, I'm never sure what they're classed as. Some are shrines, some are temples. Um, but yeah, absolutely superb views. So it's my second visit here. And uh, there's not too many monkeys up here at the moment. Uh, it's probably a good thing. I think all the monkeys are down below because the tourists are turning up. So hence they're uh, 
looking for food man so we'll go back down in a minute and see if we can have some fun uh, with the monkeys <laughs> looking for food with the tourists there you go look, look at that view what a beautiful morning man so good to be alive so good to be in thailand just can't stop smiling just so happy man Okay, that's Monkey Mountain done. Uh, I'm done for the day. Uh, I just check the time, it is 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm going for a cold drink, smoothie or something. I fancy a smoothie, strawberry smoothie. Uh, they've got an Amazon uh, coffee shop down the road, they do smoothies. I think they're about 60 baht. So uh, yeah, goodbye Monkey Mountain. Goodbye naughty monkeys. I was gonna hang around, get some footage of them being really naughty. I can't stay here all day. So uh, we're heading on for an outro in Amazon. Okay, we're back down to do the outro in Amazon. We was down here earlier on. It's the area near Soy One. So we're going in to Amazon for my smoothie. Doesn't say you can't film. Let's have a look. Okay, we are in. Oh, it's nice and nice and cool in here. Oh, super, super bit of Saircon then. Sweaty cap. Have a smoothie. Oh, smoothie. Um, strawberry smoothie. Okay, we're having a strawberry smoothie. Okay, Captain. Okay, strawberry smoothie. Oh, wow. <laughs> super cool. Super nice. Anyway, it's been a fun morning. Come down to Takia, uh, just south of uh, Puahin, at the end of the town and um, yeah come down in the morning see the monkeys hopefully see the beach if the tide's out it was very high tide this morning I see this fishing village and the water was level was really high so um, yeah maybe come down check the tide times uh, take a little walk along the beach etc uh, anyway from rocket travels it's been a great day like I said um, over and out cheers